Hello everyone, uh, welcome. With the last time I was here, we had a good talk about uh, food safety. It was good to see you guys here, here again. Um, this time is going to be very practical though. For those of you who don't know me, uh, welcome to those online. I'm Courtney Simons, Dr. Courtney Simons from Wright State University. I'm a food scientist. Um, spent most of my time studying food. And so what, I'm going, what we're gonna do is to get our hands dirty, right? And uh, we, we're gonna actually make food. Not just gonna be talking about food, but we're actually gonna make something. Uh, and today we're making jam. Uh, just before we get into the practical though, let's talk a little theory. You know, hey, this is what I do, right? <laughs> At the college, we have to talk theory before we get into practical. So by the way, jam, jelly you've heard the terms what's the difference jam jelly there is a difference i wonder i wish i brought some prize for someone maybe angela can, can give you a prize if you get this uh what's the difference between a jam and a jelly jam has the fruit in it and, and jelly does not you got it uh, angie you or you owe her a, a, a prize, that. right? <laughs> Maybe an extra bottle of, 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 the, of the jam. So yes, the jam has a fruit and the jelly is just the, just the, um, the juice. You make it um, from, the, from the juice. And do you know that you can, make, you can make jam and jelly from vegetables? You could, you can actually do that. And we're gonna look at the science and you'll see why. Uh, but at the college, we actually made a cabbage jelly. Cabbage jelly, we made it from the red cabbage and the green cabbage, cabbage came out really good. Now, I tried, I'm convincing my most recent students to try it, they wouldn't have it. They wanted to do um, strawberries, so I encouraged them, hey, let's try to do something crazy, let's do something different. And they said, okay, well, we'll do uh, strawberry and we'll add um, jalapeno in there, you know, and it actually came out really good. Nice hint of jalapeno, it wasn't too hot. Um, excellent, we made it just yes, yesterday. All right, let's jump into, into theory here. Key ingredients, what do we need? We're making a jam or we're making a jelly. We need all of these. We certainly need the fruit, especially when, if we're making a jam, we need the fruit, water, we may need water. Uh, for example, uh, when you're um, blending that strawberry, strawberry does have a lot of water in it, but it may not blend, it may get stuck in the blender. <laughs> it may get stuck in the blender. You may have, have to add a little juice, a little water for it to be blended out properly. Uh, most times, most fruits, you know, have enough water. You don't have to worry about adding anything, any extra. There's sugar, there's pectin. Pectin, I wonder what that is. We're gonna talk about that and also acid. So let's look at why we need these ingredients. So the fruit, why do we need fruit? Well, I hope you, you can, can you zoom in on that? Okay, great. So we need the fruit for flavor, of course. Um, and that's why the students didn't want to make the, the, the jam from the cabbage, right? Uh, they couldn't imagine that that would taste good. <laughs> but it did, well, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, so flavor for texture as well, for body, for texture, um, you get fiber and also sweetness. You do get sweetness, not only from the sugar um, that you're going to add in, but um, you have the natural sweetness from, from fruit. And so if you're using a very sweet fruit, you may not need to put so much sugar in there. We have water, water, the purpose is to dissolve out everything, right, to distribute all the ingredients and also texture. For jelly, I mean, you can't have gel without water, right? If you have very little water, what do you think is going to happen? If you have very little, not enough water in your in your jelly, it's going to come out very tough, very hard, pasty, stringy, gummy. You don't want you don't want a gum, you want a gel, right? Um, now, if you add too much water, what do you think is going to happen? Too much water, uh, runny. Yep, we don't want. We're not making a soup. <laughs> We're not making syrup, right? We're making a gel. We know what the, a gel consistency should look like. And then there's sugar, sugar for sweetness, and also to bind, it's, it's, it's water binding. Sugar has a property to grab onto water and to bind it and give you that nice gel. So if you don't have enough sugar, 
you're not going to get um, it's the, that gel. It's going to look runny. And um, you know, if you add too much sugar, well, you will end up with a gum. It's going to be too hard. And uh, after cooling, you will find that the, the jam or the jelly recrystallize. So instead of looking at a jelly, you'll be looking at sugar crystals in there, right? Because it is super saturated. You just have too much, too much sugar. So I want to avoid that. Let's talk about pectin. Who have you heard of this ingredient? The secret ingredient. Now this is what is going to give you that, that gel. If you don't have that, then you really won't get a, a, a nice gel. Pectin is natural. No, we don't have to worry about it, right? It's not some crazy chemical that is um, made in a lab. It is natural. I put up this uh, this picture here to show uh, the what that is is showing is um, a plant structure. So the leaf of a plant, for example, that is what gives the structure of the of the plant. So leaves would be very floppy if they didn't have the pectin and all the carbohydrates holding them up. You know, when the apple starts to rot, well, part of the reason is the breakdown of pectin, right? So it's a natural substance that's in plants to provide it with structure and support. <laughs> we just take advantage of it by removing it and we add it to our, our jam or jelly to give structure, to give, to give, give support. Um, there are different amounts of pectin, you know, depending on the type of fruit that you have. So, you know, strawberry would not have a whole lot. You, you know, so you would want to put some pectin in there. Uh, if you're making apple, apple jam or apple jelly, you may not necessarily have to put that much pectin in because apple, especially the skin, has a lot of pectin, natural pectin in there. As a matter of fact, that's one of the um, raw material that is used to extract. Pectin. So pectin and there is acid. We add acid to our jam or jelly. In what form? What form of acid do we, we use? Like citric. This, citric acid. Yes, citric acid. Um, or if you don't have citric acid, you can use lime juice or lemon juice. As a matter of fact, lemon juice or lime juice will bring some flavor as well. So you will not just get the sourness you'll get some, some flavor. But why do we need acid? You know, why do we need to add acid in there? So acid is, so you get that sour tart, tartness, right? So it's for flavor, but also for texture. Now, if you don't have acid, the acid works uh, well with the pectin. Now, let me tell you, go back, going back a little bit and talk about pectin. Pectin in its natural state, tends to have negative charge. So the molecule, the polysaccharide, it has negative charges naturally. What do you think happens if you have a negative charge and a negative charge and you're trying to bring them together, what happens? A negative and a negative. Positive. Huh? You have a negative and you have a negative. What happens when you try to bring them together? Do they attract or do they push away from each other? They actually push away from each other. A negative and a positive. Yeah, they attract, right? So, you know, it, pectin, pectin, they tends to push away from each other. You don't want that. And so you need to neutralize that charge. Remove that negative charge so that you can pull the pectin together and then, then the pectin will act like a mesh, just grabbing all the ingredients and giving you that, that um, nice gel network. That's why you need to add your acid. You don't want to make it too sour, right? Because your, your jam or your jelly will be too tight. Um, you don't want to add too little because your jam or your jelly is going to be too runny, right? Hey, there's a science to this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's science. Uh, so we talked about all the ingredients, pectin, acid, and this is the recipe that we're going to be using Yes, we do use a lot of sugar. It's a jam, <laughs> so that's expected, right? Now, there are some recipes with um, low sugar, not a lot of sugar. Um, this one calls for significant amount of sugar. It's almost, uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. The sugar and the, the fruit are the fruit juice, right? So 
one to one ratio. Pretty much the same amount of sugar that you're using, that's the amount of fruit that you, you need to use. And that will give you a, a really good um, con consistency. Pectin, um, about 15 grams we're gonna be using here. Water, it's already blended for you. You don't need to add any additional water. Then we add um, citric acid. Now, I brought with me two instruments. This instrument here, it's a sweetness test tester. It's called a refractometer. Refractometer, it, it tests the sweetness. So it tells you exactly how much sugar is, is in there. And so this is good for quality control. So if you want to maintain your, your bricks, we call it, or bricks reading at 65% or maybe you want 75% bricks, you can use this as one of your standard instruments to maintain that, that quality that you're looking for. So that's one instrument that we use when we're making jams or jellies. Uh, another instrument that you might want to use is a pH meter. Now pH meter, they come, they come in many different forms. This is just one of the fancy ones, right? You have a nice computer here and then a probe. Um, so, and this probe can be, let me remove this so you can see what the probe looks like. So that's your probe right here and your pH meter. Now it's turned off, but oh, there it is. It's turned on now. So right now it is showing a, a pH of run about seven. So we had a buffer solution here. There's a buffer solution in there uh, with a pH of seven. Now what does that mean, pH of seven? The pH of water, just pure water. Now water is not acidic. It's not alkaline, right? Just water. <laughs> the pH is seven. So the range of pH is between 0 and 14. Right in the middle is where water is. So that is neutral. Now, if the pH gets lower, if we get closer to 1, that's acidic. Okay? The acidity of your, your jam and your jelly should be around about 3.4, thereabout. That's what you're, you're really aiming for. And how do you do that? You know, you add citric acid, you can add lime juice, and then you can test it. In our recipe, we're using just 0.5 um, grams of the, of the citric acid, which should get us run about there. But uh, here's an instrument that you can use to verify that your pH is low enough. You don't want it to be too high, you don't want it to be too low. What about 3.4, 3.5, that's, that's excellent. Well, tell you what, um, I'm not gonna do much more talking. I probably have uh, a few more slides, uh, but I want to get through this real quick so that you guys can make your your jam, right? Uh, here's the process. Now you have the the uh, procedure. You have the uh, recipe with you. I've simplified it a little bit here, right? So you can look at it. I'm gonna leave this up so you can see the uh, the recipe. But uh, just a few things, precautions. Make sure we follow the recipe as we have it, right? Follow the recipe carefully. Um, keep mixing, please, while you're making your jam. Just keep mixing, otherwise it's gonna burn. You're gonna get, unless you, you like caramelized flavor, <laughs> you're gonna taste caramel, right? So keep mixing it as you, as, as you go. And here's what not to do. Don't get burnt, right? It's hot. Uh, we're talking about syrup. Uh, the temperature is going to go above boiling water temperature. I mean, it's, it's going to be really hot. So let's, let's try to be careful as much as possible. Um, we want to bottle and seal while it's hot. We want to do that, and that's important for safety. When you bottle while it's hot, you get a really nice tight vacuum at the top, right? So that will help to keep the jam for, for a long time. And um, I don't think we brought any labels with us, but uh, please add your uh, you can add your initial to the jam right so you can they're, they're gonna be hot but I guess you guys can probably come back and take them but put your little mark on there maybe your initial and then put the date that's 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 important right that's the most important you want to put the, the date that um, you made the jam right set point how do we know that the jam is set how do we know when to stop here are there are different tests that you can use this is one test. So you dip, you take a spoon, you dip it in the, in, the, in the jam, and you let it fall. You watch it as it falls. You should see if it comes off like a sheet, 
Yeah, that's right. If, now, if it's drip, dripping like this, nah, you keep, you keep, you keep boiling, right? It's not yet ready. So that's one. So here's another one. Uh, you can put it on a, a, a saucer, a cold plate. You put it in the, in the refrigerator for maybe a minute or so. And then you use your fingers and you push against that, against the jelly. If it crinkles, then it's ready, right? So you, it should actually, you know, you should actually see the gel uh, on there. It shouldn't be running. So that's one. There's another one that I like to use, which is, let me get in front of the camera here. Uh, I like to, here's another test that you could, you could do. You fill this with some cold water and you take the spoon and you drop the, the, the jam or the jelly in, the, in there and watch as it falls. Now, if it disintegrates, if it dissolves out, it's not ready. But if it forms a clump, you know, falls like a clump, then it's ready. So those are three tests that you could use. All right, what else do we have before we jump right in? Um, well, that's it. We're gonna go right ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get this back up. Um, so here's your recipe. The first thing that I want you guys to do is go ahead and get all your ingredients together. And um, you can get up and move from where you are, find your ingredients. We have the strawberry here. We actually have one scale. Is this one uh, ready? That's one scale that we I'm can use. I'm not sure if it's, is it zeroed out? I don't know how to zero this one out. So we have strawberry here and we have um, sugar and um, there's pectin, there is citric acid. We have just about everything that we, we need. So go right ahead and let's start with weighing our ingredients. Okay. on pounds. Can you put it on kgs? That's, that's on kgs. Okay. 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 Oh, put it, back, put it back on grams. Yeah, there. Just put it on grams. How far does it go? Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. You can leave it. So it says grams here. But zero? Yeah, how do you zero? Oh, it's here, right there. Yep. Never ever. No, me neither. I've zeroed out before. <laughs> All my recipes take cups. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, just leave it down. Let's see. Okay. Okay, there. No. Okay, I saw I didn't bring the conversions. <laughs> so, but we can see what that looks like. So, 400 grams of. Okay, I'm putting it grams is going to be just a little bit less than a pound. Where were you going to get the water? Is there plenty of water somewhere? Overload? Overload? Yeah. 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 So we can edit several. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think what happens is that this is so heavy. Oh, probably the bowl. Yeah. The bowls are very heavy. Were you supposed to bring a bowl? No, they provided um, it. I need a lighter bowl. Do you have a lighter bowl? Um, no. Or lighter so I never can, and I wasn't didn't have everything prepped for the for the class. 
In there, there's no lighter bulb. What about the, um, the cup, though? Okay. This. Oh, a clove of garlic. Oh, a clove. Ooh. I put a fist in every jar. I didn't Ooh. know the difference. We ate it fast because they figured it out. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is expensive. Ooh. Whoops. Yeah. So we needed 400, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we need oh, I was not seeing the decimal point. <laughs> Fifteen grams. Huh? Your back is probably a little bit bigger, right? Strawberries, 200 sugar, okay. and then I can focus on the scale oh. as okay. for, for the video. We have a ladle thing. Okay, so it's for a <laughs> it's for oh, a serving okay. dish. <laughs> so right. we'll show you. Okay. Four fifty. Yep, no. zero. Yep, just zero. Uh, oh, well, no, it's that one. Oh, just because of the oh, no, oh, it's a minor scale. Yeah. I wonder if it's gonna be easier to support. I think that might scale. Well, you don't want it on your scale, probably. Oops. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's why I anticipated. <laughs> let's let's do this. Yeah, I know. Let's do this. Grab 
your stove was still where you using this one? Oh, right here. Oh, should that yeah. be here? Better spoon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have your, this, is your, this is the sugar with the pectin, right? Correct. Yeah. All right, so that's that. You have oh, this thing you need. So you have her? No, no, we, no. So we put water in oh, when no I water. blended up yeah. the strawberries. Okay. So, so that's. The only yeah. thing that can gave is the yep. citric acid. There's a little bit kind of okay. thing in there. Draw. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's good. We can pour it in your pot. Yeah. And we can start boiling. You can come over here if you want. If you this want meat's packed in the bathroom, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't. Okay. Oh, that was in that. Don't, don't. No, you need pectin. Okay. Pectin and acid. Here, or? Citric acid is 0.5. Are you going to use this burner over here, or do you want to use this over here? How do you uh, oh, put, put the cup down first? Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, and then stir. Is it this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> now it's happening. You just need a pinch. Oh, one second. <laughs> okay. And this acid is, is natural, so it's going to come from lime, lemon. Almost there, fruits. 0.5. Yeah, it's not too much. Oh. Point, is it like a little too it's, much? Or? No, it's fine. Okay. It's going to be fine. So that you can add directly to the, uh, no, that was in the pot. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to say, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get the pot. You can, as long as you're you mixing. You're I'm mixing, okay. Yeah. I have to leave them enough. talking about like where you refrigerated it to see is that like hard boiled and soft boiled do you still call that on jelly like when you're making okay that's good sugar candy what yeah. do you call that that's a hard boil and a soft boil oh okay. no that's um, um we don't and get then our pectin that okay. high we 
That's, that's what's okay. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. what. Okay. Awesome. You can take it home and make another batch. <laughs> I might use it to reshape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we have another spoon? Yeah. Okay. Technically, jam because jam has virgin in it. 
her. I guess maybe. Yeah, she's got stuff floating on top. Yeah, I got the scum on top. This is a lot of power, girl. So it looks like we need to get some jars ready. Okay. How, how <laughs> do you need four jars? Is your jar Okay, so you have the, yeah, this uh, one. You need this one is just starting to boil. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, get some this one will be another 15 there. minutes or so. This and be funny. Want to bring the funnel here. to it? Uh, how many? Captain um, Morris. Yeah. Captain Morris, too? I think. Bring a half a dozen at least. Or just bring the entire okay. container. And the funnel. Bring one for now. Oh. And the tongs. I'm sorry. You're good. Are in New Knoxville had bought them in bulk and sold them, you know, 36 at a time. So we were able to get some lids. Some lids. Yeah, yeah, just a metal lids. Oh, yeah, that. Maybe not. Oh, um, if it's starting to boil. Did you ever see the show of I Love Lucy where they're in a great uh, and traveling with her? Well, I have a great one, and I and I do make great jelly. But I always, when the uh, kids are, had their friends over, I always said, "Now you want to help me with these grapes? You want to take off your shoes and trample them?" Oh no! <laughs> they were gonna eat that or drink it. <laughs> Way better. Oh, you're 
drops are bigger. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it, it kind of stuck together a little bit when it went down compared to disintegrating on the way down. Are the lids both to Ellen? She thought it was no, both. Okay, all right. <laughs> Yep, you can. You want to bring it all the way up. You don't want to leave too much head space. Um, bring it up some more. Yeah, you right can't there, see what right, we can right see, there. can yep. you? No, yeah. I can't see it. Oh, and yep, we're taking this out, good. so it'll go. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. I, I can see that now. Yeah. Going, going up. A little more. Right there. A little more. Okay. Okay, I can see where it is on the floor. That's for, for tasting. You can <laughs> you can taste that one. Maybe to help scoop your pan out or is it not stuck? I don't know. Do we scrape the butt pan or not? We just have two spoons. We don't have any yeah.
in. So if you want to grab your chopper and your pot, then you can you can do do that with me. Halfway pouring, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Leave the rest in the pot now. You can taste this. Okay. Oh, that's in the pot. But well, this, this looks good. Color is nice. What do you think? Flavor? Very good. Good? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Oh, so you got some on your on your dirt. No. No, I I'm decorating. What? <laughs> Decoration. <laughs> You can switch over. You want to switch over? I started first, and she got done before me. Her yeah. You can switch over. I'm on the stove. Yeah, let's switch over to there. And so, what we do now is just, just leave these until tomorrow to cool, and it will be. Yeah. And right. actually, okay. I downloaded your labels. Mm -hmm. um, oh, did you? Okay. Yes, okay. Your... Good. Good. So you can use them. Yeah. I grabbed two more. So you can just put them on. Process, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking if I have this out of the shirt oh, oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to read that. Yeah, I'll set up all my slides. Is it right there? Okay. Was this here? Yeah, it was there. Yep. I never used this one. Well, there you have it, folks. Yeah, okay. no, you Thank know how you to make it. Thank you so much. This was awesome. <laughs> 
change the fruit to whatever fruit you want. And if you're making a jelly, all you need is your juice. So you can extract the fruit from the strawberries you want to make the jelly. And what about the preserves with the more chunks of fruit in it? You can do that too. Yeah. So it's just like a jam, but you know, okay. the pieces are bigger. Like like blueberries. Mm -hmm. Can I ask Process a, is the same. a question about not adding the water? So mm -hmm. you added the water to these or they were frozen when so they had they water? They were frozen in. and I added water when I blended them in the blender. Okay. You're, yeah, so that's just for the blending process. It usually has more than enough water. You don't yeah. need to add anything. And that, maybe oh. that's why it took so long. I might yeah. have too much water. To cook down? Yeah. yeah. It's going to take a longer time to cook down. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll do better with the green beans. That is April 27th, I think. I'll have to double check. It's a Friday at 1. I'll, I'll give you guys the date before, before we leave. And that's one will be, again, and I will. That one will be a demo, right? That one will be a demo because yeah. we have one pressure canner. Yeah. And we're gonna and we can only make seven quarts of green beans in it. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, seven pints of green beans. No, I will clean up. I'm going to redo some parts of the video while everything's out. Okay. Otherwise, I'll have to get it back out again. Um, the stuff that I brought, what I'm going to do is, is leave them, and then you can just put them in a box, uh, put them back in the box, and I can pick it up. Okay, Maybe yes, we will do that. Do like, Monday. Um, yeah. Come grab it. Monday yeah. afternoon or something? Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, April 21st that we're doing the um, green, beans. green beans. April 21st. Oh, I was going to say, is that someone's birthday? <laughs> oh, and I have him here working. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a, um, I'm in the play, so I even have a show on oh. my birthday. Yep. Oh, so what time? It's at 7. Okay. Do you want to play? No, it's, we're, Cold Water is doing Into the Woods this year. Oh, you're oh, in Cold Water? Yes. Okay. Yep. What are okay. you doing this year? Into the Woods. The Into Friday. the Woods. Yep. Oh, is that where uh, Grandma has those kids coming to lunch on every Sunday or something like that? Uh, I don't think so. It's no. got, okay. it's a mix of Could different, you, you know, um, fairy tales. So we got yes. Cinderella oh. and oh. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk, um, Red Riding Hood, so I Cinderella. Went, okay. I went last year oh, do I have to the place oh, that, that was given mm -hmm. over cold water. I really liked it. it that was Mamma Mia. Yeah. Yes, that was awesome. Yes, I was also. Yeah, that was like yeah. either one of those. Oh, this one. I was yeah, in this yes. this So when is it? The first show. Our first show is a Thursday. I think that might be. Oh, and we didn't use this. Yeah, we Thursday didn't use it. You know, I just wanted seven. to walk you through it. Okay. When is it on Sunday? Um, so I might let me just take these. Just okay. We yeah. might need Saturday to use after. these before I get that. So let me take. Oh it yeah, back. I wasn't okay. gonna. Yeah, I'll take yeah, these back to the Leave that here. Saturday, April twenty. And then and then um, exactly. you'll I'll leave the scale because you're gonna need that. You need your okay. burners back. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then the Sunday too. You remember okay. the, all the stuff that I, I had in the yes. box, right? Oh, yeah, so, they need to cool off. off. Right, so I'll let you yes. put those yeah. in the box. Okay. okay. But Thursday, 7. Oh, okay. good. 2. Yeah, yeah. So that's Saturday. off. Saturday and Sunday's at 2. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Blended it in the blender. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me send this thing to you now. <clears throat> we set this on the top holder or something. I think it's. Oh, it might go on the table. I don't want to burn the table. It might, is it, might be cooled off already. I don't know. I don't want that in. Yeah. No, this one too. I've already been to the ER just in, just in case. Thank you. Cool off fast, these. Oh, okay. Okay, then. What about 
your digital scale? Do you need to take that today? No, you're going to need it, so I'll give it. Okay. Yep. Because I, I can, I can quickly videotape and. No, no, no. I, I can, just, I'll come I back and get it. I can bring it to you at the school. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you can keep that. Uh, Thank I'm not you gonna... for coming, ladies. I gave you an evaluation form. Oh, and a pen. I oh, missed that. Oh, thank you so much. At the bottom, if you um, suggested anything you might want us, any other presentation? Oh, this one. I do have yes, an ice cream. I do have an ice cream it. presentation too. We have ice cream makers, so if you oh. want to put that on your list for another time. Okay. okay. That, that should be fun. Oh, they're yeah. saying it now. <laughs> I, I will keep that in mind for uh, summer reading. Yeah. Are going to take our Jessica home with us? No, wait, wait. Um, it's not on the list. Do you feel comfortable that it's um, cool enough but, for you? Hmm? Yes, take a jar of jelly then. Yeah, no, no, we just didn't want anyone no, to burn was, themselves, so don't open it for 24 hours. We're doing uh -huh. the next, next time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined it. Not really. Are you going to use the bag when you're touching it? Like that? Oh, no. Okay. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, okay, so yeah, everybody back here now and have a participating in Salina, St. Mary's, and Wapak stuff. So, so we can try it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Maybe so, okay. I'll see you yeah. next time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thank I you very much. <laughs> yes, thank oh, you. Too. Okay, so I send that off to you. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm going to shut this.